What up? Super Mario here. I just wanted to share with you guys my picks for the 2019-2020 NBA playoffs, but before I do that, I want to bring up a little bit of sad news. My channel was demonetized this week, which kind of sucks. I'm not too worried about it, though, because I'll get it back eventually. What I need all of you to do is to make sure that you continue watching, liking, and subscribing to the channel. Those things really help out a ton. Anyway, let's get back to the NBA bubble. You know, I don't think there should be an asterisk next to this year's champion. It should be a bubble instead. I swear, I've never heard that word so much in my life. In either case, just like the 98-99 season, you have to add the little caveat in there because of what's happening with COVID-19. Now, I originally picked the Los Angeles Clippers to win it all this season, so I'm going to stick with that pick. But let me also add that this season has been super unpredictable. Literally any team could win it all at this point. When it's all said and done, I think injuries are going to be the biggest story this year again, so keep in mind the predictions that I'm making are not factoring in injuries. So let's get started then. First, let's start in the Eastern Conference with the Bucks and the Magic in the first round. I think everybody agrees that the Milwaukee Bucks got this one. I'll say the Bucks sweep this one 4-0. Hopefully the Magic can muster up a good fight though. I'll be looking at Aaron Gordon, Nikola Vucevic, and Markel Fultz in this series to come up big. Next up, we have the Pacers versus the Miami Heat. Hoo boy, I'm ready for this one. It's probably going to go five or six hard-fought games, but I'm going to favor it towards the Miami Heat. Jimmy Butler and TJ Warren will obviously be the matchup to watch here. I also predict that Bam Adebayo will be coming up big with huge numbers in this series. Now let's continue with Boston versus Philadelphia. Personally, I don't see Philly winning this one because of Ben Simmons' injury, so I'm going to say Boston in five. Tatum, Brown, and Walker are going to be lights out in this series without Ben Simmons' defense in Philly's lineup. On the Sixers' side, hopefully Joel Embiid plays his heart out, leaves it all on the floor, and I'm looking at Josh Richardson and Matisse Tybule to pick up the slack both offensively and defensively, respectively. Now, continuing on in the East for the first round, we have the defending champion Toronto Raptors versus the Brooklyn Nets. I would say obviously the Raptors are going to sweep here. Brooklyn is just too depleted to make any noise in the playoffs at this point. So let's move on to the second round of the East based on my predictions. It would be the Bucks versus the Miami Heat in my scenario. If this is the case, then I'll pick the Milwaukee Bucks in six, simply because Miami, although they're just as disciplined defensively as the Bucks, the Bucks do have a bit more depth and slightly better shooting. The other pick I have is the Toronto Raptors and the Boston Celtics. Man, this will be a good series to watch, I, I promise you. I'll have the Raptors in six in this. So that means that in the Eastern Conference Finals, I'm going to have the Milwaukee Bucks facing the Toronto Raptors. And I predict Toronto will take it in seven games this year, meaning that they'll move on to the NBA Finals. So let's go over to the West bracket now. First up, we have the Portland Trail Blazers versus the Los Angeles Lakers. Guaranteed everyone will be fixated on this matchup. I'm going to predict that the Los Angeles Lakers win in six or maybe even seven games. We all know that the Blazers can score lights out, arguably the best scoring team in the league, but they can't defend like the Lakers do. I still honestly believe that defense will win out in, this, in the end, but it will go the distance to have to prove that. Next up in the first round, we have the Oklahoma City Thunder versus the Houston Rockets. It's so sad that Russell Westbrook is hurt and cannot play in this round. I say the Thunder will win out in about six games. Steven Adams, Chris Paul, and Shea Gilgis-Alexander will be lights out in this series, I promise you. James Harden will have to average nearly 40 points per game, though, in order to make it competitive. And he'll definitely need help from somebody else on the Rockets, probably Robert Covington. So let's move on to the Jazz and the Nuggets. I picked Denver in this series, probably in five or six games. It's going to be a very defensive series and probably the lowest scoring of all the series in the playoffs. On the Denver side, I'm looking at Jamal Murray, Nikola Jokic, and Michael Porter Jr., who will shine for the Nuggets. And, of course, Donovan Mitchell. And I'm predicting Mike Conley will actually play elite basketball throughout that playoff right there. Finally, in the first round in the West, we have the Clippers versus the Mavs. I'm going to pick the Los Angeles Clippers in five games, simply because the Mavs come across as very inexperienced in closing out big games, and L.A. is just too deep both in coaching staff and on their player roster, and they're too experienced. So, if my scenario is correct, we'll have the Oklahoma City Thunder 
versus the Los Angeles Lakers in round two. LeBron faced his former banana boat buddy Carmelo Anthony in the first round, so it makes perfect sense to be from a storyline perspective that he would meet Chris Paul in the second round. So I'm going to say maybe the Los Angeles Lakers in about six games. The Lakers' front court is going to assert itself a little bit more in this series, and I predict Kyle Kuzma will have a breakout impact in this series. Rondo should be a bit of an X-factor, too, in very limited minutes, I think. Chris Paul and Gilgis Alexander will need huge games in order to lift up the Thunder. So let's move on to the Clippers and the Nuggets into my prediction. Oh man, this one is definitely going seven games, and I guarantee you the Clippers will barely get out alive. There should be numerous unsung heroes in this series, and it's going to be back and forth throughout the entire thing. There should be numerous unsung heroes in this series. It's going to be a back and forth series, and every player will elevate their games on both teams, and that should be the big story of the entire playoffs, in my humble opinion. So that means the Clippers and the Lakers in the West Finals, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I guess it's kind of destined. I'll go with the Clippers in seven. LeBron is not going to lie down for Kawhi or anything, but Paul George should be the one who gets a chance to shine in this series in key moments. And I'm going to predict this might be Anthony Davis's worst series. So that means that the NBA Finals is going to be coming down to, in my humble opinion, the Toronto Raptors versus the Los Angeles Clippers. Kawhi's former team against his new team. Storyline-wise, it kind of makes sense to me. And I would have the Clippers winning in about six games. Kyle Lowry might run out of gas in this series, and Kawhi should be the one who elevates the Clippers into their first ever title win in a crazy year. And let me know what you guys think in the comments. I love talking basketball, so let me know who you got winning each series and why. So thank you for watching the video. I humbly and deeply appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please consider following me on all my social media to keep up with live streaming schedules and things of that nature. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time. Take care.